starts with a zero. One, two, three, four, five. And so on. These numbers are called whole numbers. Now, integers. What is my integers? The numbers which are the right side of the zero. Means from the numbers which are right side of the zero, they are positive integers. And the numbers which are left of the zero, that are negative integers. Okay. Now what is mean by rational numbers? Already you have learned this concept in previous year. Rational numbers means the number which we are writing in the form of P upon Q. The number which we are writing in the form of P upon Q. Where, where Q is not equal to 0. So what is rational number? The number which we are writing in the form of P upon Q where Q is not equal to 0. P upon Q means we are writing in the form of fraction. Okay. Now suppose example 3 upon 5. 3 upon 5. Okay. Now this is for the rational number. Now you will say the, this is fraction. Yes. For this we have to say the rational number. Rational number. Because here C. Q is not equal to 0. C denominator is not 0. So this number is called the rational number. So it may be the negative. See, we can see minus 3 upon 5. This is also called the rational number. Minus 3 upon 5 is also called the rational number. So understood what is mean by rational number? The number which we are writing in the form of P upon Q where Q is not equal to 0. Now see. Now you will say madam, 2, 2 is a rational number. Yes, 2 is a rational number. Why 2 is a rational number? Because see, what is the denominator for 2? 1. What is the denominator for 2? There is no denominator means 1. So this is called the rational number. See, 0. 0 is a rational number? Yes, because see, 0 upon 1. This is, called, this is also called the rational numbers. Okay. So what are the rational numbers? What is mean by rational number? Understood the number which we are writing in the form of P upon Q where Q is not equal to 0. This denominator should not be the 0. That all the numbers are called the rational numbers. Okay. Now we will move towards the properties of rational numbers. Now we will move towards the properties of rational numbers. First property, today we are going to learn closure property. Okay, now in closure property, see whole numbers. First we are going to learn property, closure property for whole numbers, then we learn for integers and then we learn for the rational number. Okay, now see, first we will learn closure property in that whole numbers. First we will learn whole numbers, closure property for Whole numbers. Okay. Now see here I will write. Addition. Four operations. Addition, subtraction, multiplication and division. Then numbers. Okay. And we are remarked. So what we'll write? 
are not closed under privity. Okay. So let's learn now closure property for integers. Now we saw the closure property for whole numbers. It works in the whole numbers or not. Now we'll see it works in the integers or not. Now first operation addition. Okay. Minus six plus five. Minus six plus five. Minus plus minus. So what is what will what will be the answer? Minus one. Okay. So minus one is an integer or not? Yes. Minus one is a integer. Minus one is an integer. So integers are closed under addition. Okay. So it works in the. Now you see the subtraction. Seven minus two. Seven minus two. Five. Five is integer. Yes. If I will take seven, if I will take five minus seven, what will be the answer? Minus two. So this is integer or not? Yes. So this it work in the subtraction. So integers are closed under subtraction. So integers are closed under subtraction. So integers are closed under subtraction. Okay, means it work in the subtraction. Now multiplication. So five into eight. Five eights are forty. Five eights are forty. This is positive integer. Minus five into eight. Minus five into eight. When we multiply. One negative integer and a positive integer. We multiply them as a whole number and then give minus sign before the answer. Okay, so if I use forty, okay, so minus forty. So this is also integer minus five into minus eight. First we will multiply them as a whole number. Five into eight, forty, and then give plus sign for the answer. Okay, so now see you will see here these numbers we got integers. So it work in the multiplication. Okay, so it work in the multiplication. So integers are closed. Are closed under multiplication. So integers are closed under multiplication. So this property to work in the multiplication. Now we will see for the division. Five divided by eight. Five divided by eight means five upon eight. Five upon eight is not a integer. This is not integer. So this property does not work for the division. This integers are not closed. Under division, so integers are not closed under division. So then we got the number which is integers minus six plus five. Okay, minus six plus five. What we got minus one. This is integer. Yes, so this work for the addition. Now we will see for the subtraction. Seven minus two is equal to five. This is positive integer. Five minus seven. Okay, is equal to minus two. This is negative integer. So the integers are closed under subtraction. The integer. So this property works in the subtraction. Now multiplication. Five into eight, forty. Okay, five eights are forty. Minus five into eight. Minus five into eight means here one is this five is negative. Eight is positive. We multiply them as a whole number and then give minus sign. Okay, so minus forty. This is also integer. Minus five into minus eight. We multiply them as a whole number. And this when we multiply two negative integers, the product will be the positive integer. So plus forty we got. So this is also integer. So integers are closed under multiplication. Okay, but if you will see in division, five divided by eight is equal to what? Now we are writing five upon eight. This is integer. No, so 
say divisions are not rows under division. Okay. Now see we have done whole numbers, integer. Now we move towards the rational numbers. Okay. Now we move towards the properties of rational numbers.
reciprocal of this number 5 upon 2 and we have learned this 5 5 is 25 3 2 is 6 see here this number is negative this is positive so the product will be the negative so what answer you got here minus 25 upon 6 so this is rational number yes but see here a divided by 0 a divided by 0 is not defined is it defined not defined we cannot divide by 0 yes is not defined is not defined see a divided by 0 is not defined we get answer no it is infinite is not defined so it does not work in the division so what we write here rational numbers are not closed under division okay so rational numbers are not closed under division see rational numbers are closed under addition see when you add these numbers you got again a rational number you got again a rational number yes so you work in the addition so rational numbers are closed under addition when you subtract these numbers you got again rational number 2 upon 9 yes you got the rational number so rational numbers are closed under subtraction yes is it work in the subtraction okay so minus 2 upon 3 into 4 upon 5 what we got answer minus 8 upon 15 minus 8 upon 15 this is also rational number so rational numbers are closed under multiplication means it work in the multiplication also means see this property it work in the addition subtraction and multiplication but not in division yes now see here you got the rational number when you divide minus 5 upon 3 by when you divide minus 5 upon 3 by 2 upon 5 you got the answer minus 25 upon 6 this is rational number but see here a divided by 0 a divided by 0 a means any number divided by 0 is not defined so division rational numbers are not closed under division means it does not work for the division this property does not work for the division so rational 